Now, a TikTok challenge encouraging teens to shoot gel beads using toy guns at fellow students. It's happened several times in northwest suburban Barrington. In one case, a young boy and his boyfriend hit walking to school. The boy and his family are calling it a hate crime, though authorities haven't determined whether they were targeted. Let's get right to our Chardé Gray in northwest suburban Barrington. I'm risking my own safety to live. Matt Peterson is a transgender junior at Barrington High School who says he doesn't feel safe in his own school. I can't even get my own education. It's a survival thing now at school. Wednesday, March 16th, Peterson says he and his boyfriend were walking to school when a group of students got out of a car holding an airsoft rifle doing an Orbeez TikTok challenge on school property. Right about around there by the sidewalk. My boyfriend got shot in the, uh, in the face and he has a bruise there now. Barrington High School sent this letter out acknowledging some students who were victims of this incident are members of the LGBTQ community. Also addressing harassment, bullying or intimidation of any kind will not be tolerated. That breaks our heart. But we're committed to making sure everyone feels safe and comfortable expressing who they are as an individual in our schools. And, you know, this is an indication that we need to continue our efforts. Matt's mother, Kristen Peterson, says both she and the school's officer filed a report with the Barrington Police Department. This just kind of crosses the line. And I don't feel like it was just a TikTok challenge because the shooters followed him into the school. How do you really enforce that and drill that into their head that, you know, like this is not tolerated? If people... Uh, do things they shouldn't, that there's appropriate consequences in place. The consequences alone doesn't you know, solve the problem. This is an education uh, that has to take for, place for all involved. There needs to be something done because clearly what they're doing right now is ending their students being shot. We put in a FOIA request with the Barrington Police Department about this incident, but was denied because it's still under an investigation. Matt says if he doesn't get the safety that he requires, then he plans to transfer to another school. Reporting in Barrington, Charday Gray, CBS News, Chicago.